This is Angela with Creatively Done. I'm getting ready to do my go big or stay at home. And the next set part that I have to do is fill up my 3D printed cups. We made them with handles and fill them up with the paints that I'm going to use. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need all of them. Then I have a little extra one that was a retrofit on cups that already exist. So those of you that have 3D printed cups and no handles, we make them. And um, we make them for all styles. So if it's a basic printed cup, what I had Ken do was make me one that had, a, that had an actual handle on it instead of me having to retrofit it. But these won't come off even with paint in them. It's just I already have um, cups that were already made and then these are new designs that we're trying to make. Now the paints that I'm using, this is not honey, this is Mars Black, this is Sargent's Acrylic Copper, they're all mixed 50-50 and believe it or not I use Saks Versa Heavy Body Tempura, Tempura paint and that one was the gold and this one is it says it's copper, but I know it's bronze because you could tell the difference in the color. See the difference in the color? Okay, so the minute I start doing this, I'm going to have these cups filled, and I'm going to try to do this pretty quick. And I mixed all my paints the day before. I let them settle. And now what I'm going to do is I put them in these containers so I don't spill them all over the place. But I still have them on a cookie sheet because I'm not ready to do the, the base. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the smaller one, and I'm going to put the black in the center. you got to be a little careful. Oh, even if it goes over, it's all going to be poured together. So, And once I start doing this, I'm not going to have very long to chit-chat. So I'm going to have to get going, and I'll do these first. If you could see me filling it in, they have chambers. There's three chambers. And the center one, I'm going to put the black in. I'll put down a base of black as well, but I wanted to have the black. Now, this is going to take too long to pour out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off and hopefully not get... I use uh, glass marbles to mix my paints as well, but hopefully, hopefully I won't lose my marbles, like I always say. And I had Sandra, who just loved that one. Thank you. That made my day. I'm going to try to set this back down. You can still see it on there. We'll pull this a little forward. And I got one, two, three. I'm going to do four and four and five and keep these two off. And I'll do this because this is about 30 ounces of paint. And if these pieces of wood, oh, this one, the marble is going to come out on this one. I just know it. So let me see if I could prevent that. And I'm going to stop put the lid back on because it has a pour spout and I'm telling you this one this this uh, project has taken me a few days to prepare okay so now I've got all my black in the center you can see it's already oozing out there no big deal okay now I've got the um, next one that I'm going to do here it says copper but uh, but I know I know it's bronze I know it because it's just too light. Okay, anyway, go over here, and if you could see me putting this in, all I do is pour the paint in. And see, that's why I use a um, bottle that has a pour spout on it, because you'll get it all over the place. Now, it won't make that big of a difference, because the type of pour that I'm doing, I'm going to be mixing the paints around, but I want it to be continuous. Oh, there we go. I got a little bit of a squirt. They're all about the same consistency. And I'm telling you, the next time I'm going to actually use a, either a boat motor mixer or something because that was exhausting, just mixing the paints. These are heavy body paints. I've had them on units for over a year now, and nothing has m broken off. It hasn't broken down. And here is the third one hopefully 
you'll see all of these on camera. Let me set that aside to my little table. And then I'm going to take, I think I'm going to put this one in the, the dual. So I'll do that one with the dual. This is for the gold tone. And if you remember looking at that, kind of like the gold separate anyway. So now I'm going to, I actually am going to try to sit down because I'm a mature individual and I really don't need my back hurting. It'll be hurting enough after I try to hold these pieces of wood. This is not canvas. Canvas is so much lighter, so much easier. However, set that there. Let's see if I could do these without. That's why I did it on a cookie tray. I don't want to get these colors on my main unit yet until I'm ready to pour it. And I have a thinner base black paint that I'm going to use as a base. Even though it was painted black, it's, um, it's over 10 years old. So I'm trying to um, refinish what I have and make it look something different. Now see, I just got some of the, the bronze here, oh, or I mean antique copper, in with the black. So it really doesn't matter. They'll, they'll merge and blend anyway. Oops, and I forgot to do the big one. So let me take this off. I have another table over to the side, but let me get the big one, the big kahuna in here, because that's going to be the main on the top. And I know this one has, this one has a um, bead in it too, I'm sure, a marble, and I don't want to get it in there. That going fishing for a glass marble is not as much fun as it sounds. So let me... Let me take this and squirt up. Ah, see, I got a little bit in the black again, but it's okay. And I'll let this drain over. Leave it upside down. Put it in my carry case here. And since I put it on the wrong side, which doesn't make that big of a difference, I'm going to put the, not the gold, I'm gonna put the bronze, or I'm sorry, the copper, this is the anti-copper black, and this is this is the bronze. This is the only color that's missing out of the main big. Let me stop before I get the marble. You know, and they say losing your marbles. This is fun, but men, let me tell you something. The setup, and I'm glad I stopped at those three because that's all I have. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that gold one with the gold. I may just add it because I do want gold in there as well. So this is about squished out. You can hear it like a mustard jar. Turn that upside down. I do have more paint all mixed and everything, but I am going to not use a pour cup there. Get these off here. I am going to use my little shaker which is from spices, and I'll use that. And again, this is a heavy body tempera from Saks Art, and I mix that with Floetrol. But you see, instead of pouring it like that, oh, this might be dangerous, but it has a ribbon pour on the other side that's kind of gummed up here. Let me see if I can clean that off a little bit. If not, I will put it in one of the the other pour cups. Yeah, this will be fine because it has like little holes for a ribbon. And the only thing I don't have is a trash can over here. So I'm going to I'm going to need to get that too because I'll be touching that up real quick. And I don't want to throw my trash can on the ground. Hang on. So here's what we have so far. We have all of our paints mixed. They were all put together. I'm using one of my other little tables here to put, please let me be careful with all this paint. I used to be a waitress. Let's see how good my skills are. That was a hundred years ago too. See some of this spilled over so I'm going to just set it on the side. I don't even care if that's there. That's not going to make any difference but this is the gold that we're going to use 
and I might just put it in this one so I'm not scorching because that's what happens when you use a squirt bottle I don't have the dexterity I guess so the pour cups allow me to pour literally instead of squirt so now I've got this little plastic spatula I also have my OXO omelet spreader now first thing I've got to do before I start putting on any colors they look so pretty is to put a base coat of black now I should stop this here because that was just the color portion of it and make them shorter videos but I'll make it a long one and then try to figure out how to edit it so that I can keep going now in my handy dandy container here I have I may not want to use that one I'm going to use one that's a little thinner. I have a larger container of the black, mixed 50-50, with just a little bit of water, a little bit of GAC, um, and GAC, I guess everyone calls it. See, this is what's wrong with me. I can't hold this big container. So if it splurts, it's just the black base paint anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down. And then instead of just going and going and going, I'm going to spread it out. And the air is on and a fan is running because even though it's March 30th in Central Florida today, it is 92 degrees. And it's nice here in the studio at 80. <laughs> Can you believe that? But it still is warm. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can so it doesn't dry out. And I'll start with the center one. You know, I really want to try this other, it's not a spatula. I guess it is a spatula. Can you tell how much I cook? I mean, I do cook, but really, what is it called? It is a spatula, but. Let me see if I can just scoop some out instead of trying to pour it. Some of the paint, I had prepared this, um, these pieces of wood, this desktop. I cleaned them with alcohol, let them dry for a good day or so while I was doing everything else. And you can see now I have a fairly good amount of paint. If you can't tell, it's because it's black on black, but hopefully you can see enough of that on the video and all I'm going to do on this oh this is gonna move fast so so do I have to move fast too and we do have I do have um, marbles so you're gonna see me lose my marbles for sure once you start this you just got to keep going ah, I'm gonna need a massage tonight because <laughs> I could tell my back is gonna be bothering me. But what, when you're doing this, think about it. I have this suspended so that the one, the other ones are on a lower. Yeah, you may not be able to see this. I'm going to try to move the camera just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just continuing the black paint and I'm going to put my spatula there so the marbles don't come out and see if I could get... Ah, oh, one of them came out. Did you hear it fall? So here we go, we're picking up marbles. And now I got paint all over my hands. I think there's one more in there. Yeah, maybe more than one. Okay, so let me take the paint out. And I'm at two. It doesn't matter if this goes over on the side. It does matter on this top piece, but on the side ones, not so much. So let me get as much as I can here. Try to keep my posture so I don't get a really sore back. And spreading, and we're spreading, and we're spreading. I probably should have used something a little bit larger. And I do have, you know, I do have a putty knife that would have gotten. I just need a base coat so the paint isn't going to just stick when I pour it. But we're going to do this as quickly as I can. 
I got one more to go. Hopefully I can bring the camera with me. So you can see. It's more of the same, but you know, just to just to keep you informed here. This might be a little harder to see because this let me see if the, it's probably gonna be better without the light on. Please don't let me drop my my camera. Now you're still gonna see a uh, you know, you, you know what I'm doing here. All I'm doing is finishing putting black down as a base coat. Let's not get all of our napkins there. I'm running out of organization space here. And uh, that was part of it too. I couldn't do it on my regular desk. So what I tried to do was do it in the living room portion of this studio which had a bigger area and hopefully everything will stay put. This knife works really well and I know I'm going to be talking and trying to get this done at the same time but I'm going to have to borrow a little bit more paint so I'm going to do is get the other oh we probably saw my flags I don't have bat wings I have angel wings my name's Angela so they're angel wings. Let me get that under there. I want that right under the top part so that when it goes over, it goes on to the next part. Okay, so let me set this over here and get the other one. Take a breather from my back here. Since I had some still left in this, in the honey jar, I'll put a little bit more on here. And set that, please. Don't let me spill all that paint. You know, I'm in the studio, and it's okay if I were to happen to spill stuff, but I really don't want to clean up. It's about 65, 68 ounces of paint. Okay, so now, I don't have any fan blowing on this, but if you can see, everything should be wet now. This is a little, drying just a little bit. But here comes the fun part. So let me put this back towards the center so you can watch at least the one part and see how this goes. Put that in the bucket. My hands are dirty, but it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to take the main cup and I'm going to start, hmm, I'm not sure exactly how I want to start. So, because I've got to go off on both sides. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to do ribbons. Large, large ribbons of the color. From this one large cup. You would have thought a lot more would have came out, but... That's about it. And now what I have to do is get a little spatula. Actually, I could probably use the same one. And I'm going to just take some of the colors and let them go down the center. You know, it's it sounds easy where you just pour paint on... Um, canvas or a piece of wood it's not easy I've done regular painting and it's been a lot less trouble if for lack of a better word now all I'm going to do is just drag that out a little bit and drag through this a little and drag through this and all I'm doing is pulling the color through now the only problem that I'm going to have and I'm just now realizing this is that I can't really what do I want to say? I can't really um, tilt them very easily. But I'm going to try. And I, hopefully you can see enough of this where you can tell what I'm doing. Just using the extra paint to fill in where there isn't any. And it still stays fairly separated. If you don't, you know, this is... This is part of the beauty of it. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look painted. It's 
poor painting. You'll go P-O-O-R doing this, but it's poor painting. Set that down. I have more paint for the sides, so I'm not worried about that. But I am going to try desperately to tilt this just a little bit in both directions and see if we can get it to continue. So I'm going to move the one section out of the way and I am going to literally just hold it and tilt it so it goes over to the next part. You can see it. Man, that is heavy. And I've got cups underneath, so I have to be careful of what I'm doing. But I am going to go this way now. You can't see anything. But I'm tilting it off to the other side. Oops, and I'm also hitting the phone. There we go. Now, now that I've got it all over the place, that will continue. This will continue. And I'm not sure why it decided to... Whoop, and there's fingerprints. Okay, so, didn't work quite the way I had it planned, but it's okay. I am not giving up yet. And I wish I had a nice big paper towel here instead of these little guys, because my hands are so full of paint. I'll just put this in the container here. And I am going to, maybe I should use, hmm, I don't know what I should have used. Let me see. I'll use the bigger one here to continue it and roll it right off to the second piece here. So I'm going to start just a little. And I know you can't see this. I just I got a filthy hand here so I can't really move my can't really move my um camera. Well, I could, but I won't be able to use it. That'll be that won't be so good. This is where that's going to go flying. And this is not working as perfectly as I thought it would, but it's it's going to be okay. Now I want to tilt. I really don't want to smear. So I'm going to tilt again off to this side. If you knew how heavy this was, you would know why I'm not saying a word. Now I got it all I got it all over me, that's for sure. And I really don't have enough room to move to get close enough to this one. So let me see if I could try that. Yeah, what's gonna, what do you think is going to end up on the floor, guys? All the paint or me? Um, I'm betting the paint. I've got it on a little rolly table, but you never know. Okay, that's the top. This is the bottom. You guys can't see this, but you will. When I finish it. It's going to be pretty anyway. There's no way this could look bad if the colors are what you like. But I really should have brought my blow dryer. Okay, see, this is what I wanted to have it look like. It was continuing. Oh, well, it was worth a try. I didn't think it was going to go quite as... Uh, differently as it is, but it's okay. It's all right. Oh, 
Oh goody, the air kicked on so I can breathe. Well, let me set this down again. That's not too shabby. That's not too bad, but I've got one more piece to do over here. So, I'm going to pull this back over again. And this one, let me see if I could push that back a little bit more. And I have almost a table over here. So, I'm trying to tilt this a little bit without, it just has cardboard on the end. I don't know if you can see any of this. What I'm trying to do is tilt this one on the end. Oh boy. Not exactly what I had planned, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm going to drag through just a little bit over here so we can get a little bit more color. I've got to do the other side so I don't run out of room or time. I'm running out of time. Good I didn't run out of paint, but just running out of time a little bit here. Set that there. I, I like the top. I'm not going to worry about that. I got a lot more paint than I needed to. Okay. Let's not knock this over. So I got this covered. Oh boy, and that was that was tricky. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. This is going to be a long one, but like I said, I'm. I'm going to start here, let it pour off, I'm just doing a little bit of tapping so I can get some of it off. Sorry I can't move the camera, we do have a camera that moves when you move, but that's, that's not going to work. Okay, let me see if I can get some out of this one. And I can't, so I'll just go for this and see if I can move it just a little bit. Start here. trying to continue the veins and I'll show it but I'm not sure how clean my phone's going to end up being when I do this. If you can see any of it there, that's probably the continuation. And what I'm trying to do now is touch cardboard, not my other finished piece. And if you can see any of this on the video, if not, there's my hand there, so it's not really showing you too much of it. If I don't touch my phone, I'll be happy, but there we go. Now you can see the end piece. And what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I have to tilt it away from... the camera. away from the camera. Boy, oh boy, am I going to have a sore back. When you're doing this, think about the logistics of it, because that's where the problems are. When you're trying to... I'm using more paint than 
I probably even have to, but see like this. Not as good as I thought it was going to be, but hey, it is what it is, but not what it should be. That's what people say that all the time. It is what it is. Well, yeah, it is, but it's not what I wanted it to be. So I'm going to pull, just pull a little bit. That won't look too bad. Went off this way a little bit more. And like I said, it's supposed to be abstract. And I'll try to tilt it again a little bit. I'm so afraid I'm going to hit the table behind me, which still has plenty of paint on it. Tilt it, see if I can get some of this. Let's see if I can tilt it that way. I got the lamp, I got my dress, I got the other piece. I'm going to set this back down because it's too heavy. And I'm going to go over on this side. My hands are better painted right now. This is where finger painting comes into play. Some of the paint underneath ended up drying, so that's what happened there. And now, this is where everyone else is playing music, whereas I just keep chatting along, singing a song, side by side. I said I had sang in one of my, and it was O Sola Mio. Couldn't find it for the one nice person. God bless you, Sandra. And um, so I really don't sing, so I don't want to frighten anyone. But I do like to just vent, you know. So I am going to try to do just, oh, my gold, I forgot my gold. So I'm gonna put a vein of gold, or a slither of gold. But I should be starting here, shouldn't I? There is gold in them dark hills. And even like in granite or stone, the colors don't always just go matchy-matchy. Sometimes they end as abruptly as they started. And like this, even here, which was a little bit too much, and I need to torch this as well. I'm not sure what part you're seeing right now. Probably none of it, but there you go. And if you lost interest, if not, please subscribe. I'm trying desperately to get to 100. So many people are at 15,000 and 1.5 million, and I'd settle for 100 at this point. I'm going to take my OXO, and I'm going to just pull it through, because there's other colors under there as well. And that way it won't be quite so abrupt. And I am trying to make it as if it was a continuation from the one on the top, so 
in case you're wondering what I'm trying to do. Just do follow through. Follow through and over. This is like a giant canvas that hopefully will have some some beauty to it. Let me see if I can get, oh, that one's too full. I'll be taking a lot more than I need. And I'm all slippery, but let's see how this works. When you watch this process, it's easier to see a finished project and to say, oh, that looks really nice. When you watch it, sometimes there's a lot of trial and error that goes into it, and most people really don't even want to see that. But it's, it's nice to see it because it's not just an easy project. It, you have to work at this. It, this is artwork, and I don't mind artwork, but it's not just throwing paint on anything. You have to be deliberate. You must be conscientious. Like this one corner down here that you probably can't see really doesn't have much of any color on it at all, so I'm going to add a dab and see if I could pull it across. So, it has some color to it. Same thing like here in the, in the front. This, this, this is fine, but it'll look better, and I really wish I could tilt it more, because that's what's missing here. I, I should be able to tilt this I don't want to smear it though, I want to wave it. I want it to be a wave of color. So that's why I'm using the edge like you would a brush. And even here, this got a little too smeared. So I'm going to take some black paint that I just happen to have right here. And I'm going to add a little more black to it. So it makes a little more negative space, pockets. And I'm doing a major no-no, holding wet painted objects over top. That's not a good idea. Something seems to be nibbling on me here. Exactly sure what it could be. And where'd the gold go? Yeah, here's the gold. Here's the gold. Here's some gold. So, Priscilla and Sandra, Sensation, and all of these people that I watch, and Fiona, who does amazing flowers take a take a break and watch all of your followers someday and help us out help us get noticed because to me this is really pretty 